There's a remarkable little verse in Exodus chapter 4. When Moses is making excuses as to why he shouldn't go to speak to Pharaoh and says, I'm not an eloquent man. And the Lord said to him, who has made man's mouth or who makes the dumb or deaf or the seeing or the blind? Have not I the Lord? We may think that people who have certain limitations uh, somehow have been accidents in the process, but the Lord says that he actually controls these matters and he makes these, no doubt, to sensitize the rest of us. I have a little story for you today. A friend of mine named Roland who came from Scotland and moved to the prairies and he was involved in training medical personnel in how to deal with mentally handicapped children. And he told me one time about a, a boy there uh, who had basically a two-word sentence vocabulary, rarely said anything more than two words at a time. And he used to carry around with him a picture of Holman Hunt's famous painting, The Light of the World, a picture of Jesus standing at an ivy-covered door, uh, rusted hinges, knocking at the door. One day, my friend Roland sat down beside him and engaged him in conversation and said to him, uh, who is the man in the picture? And the little boy said, a man. Yes, I know it's a man, but, but what man? And the little boy said, you know. And he said, but but tell me, who is the man you know? And after several attempts to elicit an answer, uh, the little boy made a comment that just completely flabbergasted my friend. He said, that's the man that died for my sins. And you know, we sometimes forget that though the body may be damaged, the soul is the same. And the Spirit of God speaks beyond the equipment that we need to communicate with one another. And I think very often when we see those who we feel have limitations, do we not all have limitations? The only normal person that ever lived was the Lord Jesus. Everyone else is substandard. And yet in a marvelous way, the Lord even uses those who seem to have rather obvious limitations to sometimes speak to the rest of us. And here was a boy who understood the greatest idea in the world. And he embraced that truth. That's the man who died for my sins. Whatever else we know in life, this is the one thing we need to know. And that's what that little boy knew. So may God encourage us uh, perhaps as we engage with families who have children, special needs children, to remember that the Spirit of God is able to communicate with their spirits, perhaps beyond what we can communicate. And we realize again, every one of them is precious in the sight of the Lord, custom designed by Him for His own purposes. And there is a land where the lame leap and the dumb sing and where the blind see and where never again will there be these heartaches that we face in this world. God help us to lay hold of this glorious truth that God sovereignly works, and as for God, His way is perfect.